This is part 38 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss assigning event handlers using these special methods. In part 36, we discussed assigning event handlers using the HTML element attributes. And in part 37, we discussed doing the same using DOM object properties. In this video, we'll discuss assigning event handlers using these special methods. Internet Explorer 9 and later versions and all the other modern browsers support these two methods, add event listener and remove event listener methods to add and remove event handlers. Here is the syntax for assigning event handlers using add event listener method. We call it on the element to which we want to assign the event handler and this method has got three parameters. The first parameter is the name of the event to which we want to assign the event handler and the second parameter is the name of the handler itself and the third parameter phase for now let's just set it to false. In a later video session we'll discuss the use of it. So let's look at an example now. This is the example that we worked with in the previous video session. Notice that in this example, we're using this DOM object property on mouse over to assign this handler method to mouse over event. So instead of using DOM object property, let's see how to use add event listener method. So to use add event listener method, we call it on the HTML element to which we want to assign the event handler. So the element that we want to assign event handler is this button. So btn dot add event listener. And this method has got three parameters. The first parameter is the name of the event. The name of the event is mouse over. And the second parameter is the name of the handler method. So the handler method is change color on mouse over. And the third parameter is phase. For now, let's set it to false. In a later video session, we'll discuss the use of it. Now, this third parameter is actually optional. So if you don't need it, you can omit it. So I'm going to omit that. In a similar fashion, I'm going to assign an event handler for mouse out event. So on mouse out, we want this handler method to be called. All right, with these changes, let's run the page. Notice that on mouse over and on mouse out. So it works as expected. So in this example, we're using add event listener method. Now let's see how to remove event handlers. To remove event handlers, we use remove event listener method. So the syntax of this one is pretty much similar to add event listener. It has got the same three parameters. Again, even for this method, this third parameter is optional. So if you don't need it, you can omit it. So what we want to do is have another button like this, which says remove event handlers. And when we click that button, it should automatically remove the event handlers that are associated with this button. So let's see how to do that. So the first thing that we need is the second button. So let's make a copy of this and let's change the value attribute to remove event handlers and let's get rid of this ID property. And now let's write a function to remove handlers. So let's call this remove handlers. So btn dot remove event listener and we specify the name of the event and the event handler name. Similarly for mouse out we want to remove its handler. So we have so this is the function which is going to remove the event handlers. So we want to call this function when we click this button. So on click of the button, let's call remove event handlers method. All right, so let's run this now. So look at that on mouse over and on mouse out, it works as expected. Now let's click this button, remove event handlers. Now when I mouse over and mouse out, nothing happens. So the event handlers are removed. Using this approach, we can assign more than one event handler method to a given event. Let's understand what we mean by this. 
So let's get rid of this second button. And here I'm going to have a function. Let's name it handler1. And let's alert a message saying handler1 called. Let's make a copy of this function and let's change the name to handler2 and the message to handler2 called. Now I'm going to associate both of these event handler methods to the click event of this button. So the event name is going to be click and on click of the button we want to call this handler1 method. Similarly, on click of the button again, we want to call handler2. So for the same event, we are associating two handler methods. So let's run this now and click the button. Notice that handler1 is called, handler2 is also called. So using this approach, that is using add event listener method to associate event handlers, you can assign as many event handlers as you want. But one important thing to keep in mind is that the order in which these handler methods are executed is not defined. Attach event and detach event methods work only in Internet Explorer 8 and earlier versions. So this is another way to assign event handlers. You can use attach event and detach event. Attach event to assign and detach event to remove event handlers. But these methods work only in IE 8 and earlier versions. They do not work in IE 9 and later versions and all the other browsers. And here is the syntax for assigning event handler using attach event method. So this method has got two parameters. The first parameter is the name of the event, but with the name of the event, you should have this word on prefixed. So if it's the click event for which you are assigning the event handler, then the event name should be on click and then the handler name and the syntax for detach event is very much similar to attach event. So let's look at an example now. So we have the button here. Instead of using add event listener, let's use attach event. So with the event we should have this on prefix, so on click and let's call this click handler. Let's get rid of the second function and change the name of this handler method to click handler. So now we are using attach event method. And if you look at the browser that I'm using, I'm using Google Chrome. Okay, so attach event method is not supported by Google Chrome. So when I click this button, notice that nothing happens. Now let's browse this page using Internet Explorer. So right click on the page in Solution Explorer, select this option Browse With and then let's select Internet Explorer. Now when I click the button with an Internet Explorer, notice that it doesn't work here either. That's because if you look at the version of Internet Explorer that I have, it is 11, Internet Explorer 11. So in, an, in IE 11, again this attach event method is not supported. This is supported only in IE 8 and earlier versions. So in IE 11 you have got this developer tools option so click that and on the emulation tab you have this document mode. Now by default it is set to edge means it's running in IE 11 mode but we can make this to run in IE 8 mode by selecting 8 from here. Okay, so now this browser is running in IE8 mode. So when I click this button, notice that it works. Handler 1 called. Okay, but then it will not work in Google Chrome or, you know, in IE9 and later versions. Now, the example that we have here works in all the browsers, including IE8 and earlier versions. So 
If you look at this example, this will only work in IE8 and the earlier versions. But I want to assign click event handler to this button in such a way that it works across all browsers. So basically, I want a cross browser solution. So let's see how to write this code in such a way that it's going to work with all the browsers. So if you use instead of attach event, if you use add event listener, then that method will not work in IE8 and earlier versions. Okay, attach event, this works only in IE8 and earlier versions, but not in IE9 and later versions and all the other ma major browsers. So we want to attach event handlers in such a way that, you know, it's going to work in all the browsers. So that's called cross browser solution. So for that, what I'm going to do is use an if else block if btn dot add event listener. So if the browser supports add event listener, then use that option. So use add event listener method to associate the event handler. So to the click event associate click handler method. So this is going to work for all the modern browsers, IE9 and later versions. Else, if the browser is IE8, then button dot add event listener this is going to return false you know basically uh, so it comes to the else block and this piece of code will be executed so now this is going to work in all the browsers so now let's go back to internet explorer reload the page so we are still running in ie8 mode so when i click the button notice that handler one called it works now let's go to google chrome reload the page click the button notice that handler one called so now this piece of code works across all browsers so it's a cross browser solution thank you for listening and have a great day